all right guys welcome back to another session of this video of course you know my name already so but just for the record of this video my name is Kayode Ola and um, in this video I'll be showing you how I lost 300,000 Naira and I was able to make 1 million Naira back trading the cryptocurrency market okay I will try as much as possible to be snappy not to waste too much time but of course deliver something tangible in this video most of you have been uh waiting and i'll be wanting to watch this video because of um so that i can share to you my lost and my success story my first success story in cryptocurrency trading okay and in this video i'll be telling you and i'll be showing you what i have done wrong um that made me lost this money at first so let me just say, say a little story of how i lost it okay uh i have three points here i have three points of what i was doing wrongly and of course um six other points that actually still affected me till you late 2020 okay so i'm going to be sharing you all, all of my mistakes in the cryptocurrency industry and of course share you my sources of how i was able to make this the money back in the, even in foods all right so let's just go straight into it firstly before i can tell you how i make the money i must tell you how i lost it so let's go right into how what i was doing wrongly because of course i might have been i must have been doing some things wrongly before i lost the money so the first thing i was doing wrongly was thinking i can do it all by myself self-learning self-teaching through ebooks pdfs youtubes so i believe i was thinking that i can do it all by myself and mind you self-learning is good but i must tell you that there are some niche that you can do self-learning completely and there are some niche that self-learning is not really advisable for you to go on with okay i know that most of you might, uh, might disagree with me but that is just the truth because uh it affected me and the money i was supposed to use to to learn then okay i actually lost it okay uh i was supposed to to to, to pay for a particular course then but i just feel like i can i can do this by myself okay so i later lost the money i want to use for learning all right so but later on i, I realized that this is not something that i should step up my game okay so i came uh i i was doing all this self-learning in the year 2018 so i paid my first um crypto class 20 2019 that was around march or february okay so uh actually what i have lost is more than this but i can't really decode the the exact amount so i just use this as the figure okay because it's, it's within this particular price all right so if you want to calculate this in dollar in case you are watching this video i, I, I am not an engineer this is around 580 dollars now 580 dollars okay that's 580 dollars of 5 550 to 580 dollars as at now all right so i lost one of the things i got wrong was doing self-learning okay it's good to learn from youtube it's good to learn from um from pdfs but it will only take you to some extent and might not be able to take you to the peak of it because me as an example i have a, I have a youtube channel and the way we will have a youtube channel like likewise we have a full cryptocurrency ultimate course and in that particular course it's a full course meanwhile we have a free video on youtube which means that we can't put all of the all of the courses on youtube that is same thing for everyone no one can put all full details on youtube you cannot have all the footage this on youtube so on my YouTube, on my youtube channel you are going to be finding how to do spot trading how to do features trading even how to do p2p trading on binance which is a very huge value in which people are paying to learn but i gave it out for free on youtube but that is not the beginning and the end of the journey okay so make sure that you don't you don't do like me and you don't make the same mistake that i made i know that some of you might be like but i've even paid for courses i've even uh i've even uh tried to pay someone to teach me but then i'm still losing money and all of that yes it happens okay it happens because the first person i paid to learn in, 20, in early 2019 okay the courses were some basics and i lost money even after then okay so before you go ahead and pay someone make sure that all your doubts are cleared make sure that you know the curriculum you are getting okay make sure that you know the type of person you are you are you are meeting with to learn 
I don't advise you going out to strangers just to learn something that you don't even know the person. So before you go ahead and pay someone to teach you or you go ahead and pay for a particular course, make sure that such person is available for you because you're going to be needing direction. There's no how you won't need direction. There's no how you won't need direction. It's, this is because this is practical. You know, for a medical student to go for, for an operation, there will be a senior medic a, a senior doctor present in that particular operation room so that the person can guide the new doctor. So for you to go into the market, you must have someone that can guide you even even after you have purchased the course. So make sure that if you are getting the course because it's advisable, make sure that you are getting from someone that will be available for you and must know what you are going for. So ask for the course as line, ask for everything that you need to ask and make sure that you don't fall among those that are going to be getting some basics in learning because I've, I've, I've received a lot of complaints and a lot of um, a lot of worries about people getting pay, paying for courses and then what they are getting are just trashes. Okay, so make sure you don't fall a victim. So and of course, don't do self learning. Self learning is good, but don't use your real money to practice. If no, if no, if no, you are doing self learning and you want to practice your skill, make sure you are using as low as five to ten dollars to practice, so that you can know that okay, this money. Is what I can afford to lose. All right. So the second mistake, the second thing I was doing wrong was consuming all sort of informations. Man, guys, I belong to about twenty groups talking about trading. I follow everyone. I was consuming everything, consuming PDFs, consuming everything, which is not LD because everyone have different trading styles. I tell you. That there are some people that they, that they will tell you that I know ICT trading, I know Wyckoff, I know so so so, I know so 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 thing, and they are still losing money. Why you just see someone that okay, what I know is just support and assistance, and then they are good to go. Sorry, I'm talking about some jargons, some crypto jargons. If you know you don't understand them, it means that you are not a cryptocurrency. Okay, you can just go on YouTube, you can just go on Google and type those things I'm saying. But of course, it's not something to worry about, all right? So you just need to um, learn the industry fully. But this video, like I said, this video is not actually a newbie video because this video are for active traders. Because if you have lost money, it means that you have been trading. Okay, so this video is not some basic video. It's a masterclass for people that are trading the cryptocurrency market already. Okay, so I was consuming a lot, lot of information, guys. A lot of information. I was collecting information from Trader A. I was collecting from Trader B. I belonged to so many groups and in, in which it was consuming my energy and cause it was confusing my knowledge. Because this guy was going to tell me that what work in the market is support and resistance. Someone else will say that what is working in the market is supply and demand. Someone else will say that what is working in the market is wipe off. I don't know if you are getting my point. Someone else will say that what is working in the market is indicators. So I was consuming all of them and I got confused. I got confused. So it's, I don't know which strategy to make use in the market. So I lost money doing that. Okay. Now, third point is some people don't know what works best for them. Then I don't know what works best for me. I was following other people's sources. And I see most traders, even you that are watching this video, most of you might be doing this. You don't know what works best for you. You are following other people's success. Now, what do I mean? You know, in trading, in trading, make sure you are getting my points very rightly. In trading, there is what we call level of emotions, level of finance. There's one more. Let me remember. Your level of time. Because we all do not have the same level of emotions, the same level of finance, and the same time. Okay, you can't compare someone that is having a one thousand dollars account with a ten thousand dollars account. You can't compare someone that is working in a bank with someone that is having his or her own business. And also, the last one, you can't compare your level of emotions with my with your own level of emotions. My own level of emotions, with your own level of emotions. 
people get these things wrongly and it's affecting them i got it wrongly i was looking at other people's success i know that most of you um your maybe 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 you saw you saw that in your first status that uploaded 1000 percent or maybe 100 percent with 20x leverage trading futures and then you go ahead and do the same thing and then boom you lose your money you don't know that your friend that is using 20x or using 30x or even 50x that is having 100 percent showing it on your on his or her status is just using an equity of just one dollar or five dollars i have seen people do that okay some people will upload 500 percent using 100x and man the equity is just what five dollar which is what they can afford to lose it and then you you go ahead watching their sources you go ahead to go and use your your old hundred dollars in your portfolio and boom you, you you what you got liquidated so follow other people's success it's not a way you must know what works best for you me i know what works best for me and i am teaching that to everyone that i'm teaching because i i have i have looked at the the the, the both sides of the coin and i, I and, and i've made up my mind to 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 what to be at the middle you must know what work best for you you must know what works best for you you don't what you don't just do what other people are doing because i must tell you that you don't know their level of portfolio and of course you don't know how they even trade the market you see let me explain this further okay when it comes to money okay when it comes to money i might be using ten dollars to trade that particular market using 20x which means that i can afford to lose that money now because you see me doing that okay you want to go and do that with your own portfolio of hundred dollars which means that if you lose that particular money it will be pained which means that our level of finance in that particular state is different second point someone trading futures cannot be working in a bank you cannot be working in a bank and be trading futures it's dangerous because of your time you don't have that time of checking the trades most every time so you go you so you, you now saw your friends doing self business maybe he's having his own business he has a lot of time and then you now compare yourself working in a bank to go and do the same thing okay maybe you place a trade on futures and yes and, and i want to attend to a customer and then before you look back boom you are liquidated so you must know your level of time the third point is emotions there are some people that they can conveniently lose 10 percent of their portfolio and there are some people that they find it hard to lose 10 percent of their portfolio so in that kind of states you should know how you what how you manage your risk of course i don't want to go into in depth into this because if i go in talking in depth about these particular emotions is going to deal with trading entering and trading exits and trading stop loss but i don't want to go into that because i don't want to man i'm going to use a lot of time if i go into that but what i'm trying to say is that you must know your level of emotions if no you can't afford to lose 10 percent then reduce your risk to five percent which means that you need to get your entry right okay do not look at other people's success know what works for you know what works for you so i don't know if you are getting me my point right all right so meanwhile i also have some other things that contributed to my loss okay even after even after i already learned cryptocurrency but of course i was getting all of these things wrongly so that so that is why i said other things i got wrong all of these things you can you can consider them as when i am yet to uh go into the cryptocurrency market fully when i am yet to when i was doing self-learning you can consider the top mistakes as them and these other mistakes as even after i learned about cryptocurrency because there are still some people even after you have bought the course you are still doing some of these things but perhaps i would say that maybe the course is not sufficient enough because any course that you're going to take is supposed to supposed to was supposed to make it a mandatory for these six points if you go to my twitter i think if, if you go to my twitter I shared I lost one million era late 2020. Okay, and year was the fourth. Year was the fourth. Okay, so 
I have lost money in the cryptocurrency industry and I have made money. Okay, so if someone is telling you that just come to the industry and be winning, be winning, be winning, it's it's not true. You lose money and you win money. Okay, but if you are winning 70% and you are losing 30%, then you are cool. Okay, when I make this money, that was that was um I, I made this one million that was still early last year. I haven't used that particular money to, to to buy this system I'm using to record this video, guys. <laughs> okay, I I I I made more than this actually, but I, I can't really decode the because that was about two thousand two two five all in one trade, guys. All in one trade. Uh, that was two thousand five dollars, which just a really very little money, with as little as below hundred dollars. I know you might be like, how oh, is that possible? But I don't want to go into that anyways because that is another segment. Okay, I have, I have made the money using small money to make this big money okay so i don't want to go into that that is maybe another thing on its own but i think i dropped a youtube i dropped a video on youtube last year about it or early this year about it so you can just go to my youtube channel and check the video okay so other things how how i lost some little money using these mistakes okay so i'm telling you all, all my mistakes now so that you can adjust yourself on that okay and of course like i said if you if you get a course that that, that that does not talk about all of these things guys you need to adjust all of these things are just some parts that i have talked about and i've analyzed in my cryptocurrency course for duo okay so let's just go through them one by one so that i can show you too uh, what i did um on how i was able to make this money back and of course still making the money so cryptocurrency is all about losing and winning but i must tell you you must be winning 70 percent and lose what and lose about 230 percent so out of 100 percent if you are winning 70 percent and losing 30 percent that is cool that is a very great financial stability okay so in la last week last week in our trading signal in our trading signal we traded about six to seven trades and we lost two okay so we we're able to make one uh, we we're able to make 161 percent for the whole week and we we, we lost 37 percent so we're able to make in i think in in in, in overall we we're able to make 169 170 something percent minus the one that we lost so the overall percentage that we win that we won was 161 percent which is which it's a very good stuff because they will be winning and they will be losing aspect of the trading okay but some people are just losing and losing and losing without making any profit that is why I'm putting out this video for you to take note of all of these mistakes and adjust on them. So, other things are married to a coin. Man, I think I love what is the name of this coin? I love uh I once loved FRL file coin. I once love I can't remember I can't even remember their names again. All of these coins, okay? EOX, EOS file coin i once loved them i loved all of these coins and main i was holding keep holding keep holding till my money got into dust <laughs> my money turned into dust okay i was holding i was married to a coin i was like i love this coin i love this coin and it's it's going to affect you i have this guy he loved bnb so much so uh i told him to buy bnb no Solana, not BNB. Solana, Solana. So I told my guy to buy BN Solana at forty something dollars. That was early last year. So he bought Solana around forty something, forty forty something dollars last year. And Solana went to as I has over two hundred dollars that same last year, which you can calculate that particular percentage. But my guy said he loves Solana and he don't want to sell. He always take profits. I'm still going to talk about that. That he don't want to sell. And boom, Solana is down now because of the whole market crisis. Okay, so you don't get married to a coin. You don't love the project. You are here to make money. Forget, forget your love. I love CZ. I love BNB. But if BNB is not making me money, what else? I'm here for to, in this industry to make money. I'm not here to make losses. I'm not here to get married to a particular coin. Because all of these people are women still. They created that particular coin to make money. We are doing stuff to make money. Okay, so 
if someone is telling you that okay i did this project for charity for blah blah we are all here to make the money <laughs> okay because i have worked with developers i have worked with projects you know like i said cryptocurrency jobs so i have worked with moderators i have worked with developers so i know how the, all, the, all of these things look like everyone is here to make money no one is here to make any loss okay well, so why should i why should i create a project that will make me losses that is unreasonable guys so we are here to make money so why are you going to be married to a coin why will you love that coin so they don't mind me that is a nigerian language so i just love to express a particular language so they that you lose your money so what i mean by that is that why will you be married to a coin you are making money you are not holding that okay i love this coin it's still going to make me more money then you hold it and then boom you lost everything back okay so my point is that don't get married to a coin once you make your money my friend get out get out i learn all of this the hard way okay so that is why i don't want you to do the same thing don't lose your money guys so i've lost my money for you <laughs> okay so number two point is that social hype man if you go to twitter you see people hyping hyping cor hyping mem coin hyping all of them and then I, I i i i was reacting to all of this all of those things earlier and boom i lose money if this guy if an inflex has say guys trs is going to make make money it's going to make you money it's going to make sense boom i'll go and buy if another person said that um is that tz will make you money boom i'll go and buy so social noises he needs to learn how to listen to noise and filter them listening to noise are good because you know what is going on in the market but he needs to filter them that is where your, your, your own knowledge comes in okay i love the way i trade and that is why that, that, that is what may i teach you need to be on both sides of the coin because no one is perfect no one is 100 percent sure I, I i shared with with our inner students with our community reason why most traders are not making money i share with them let me just give a let me just give a brief here i said that people believe that a particular analysis must go in their favor because you are very good in analysis you are now saying that this thing must go in my favor it's not it's, it's not guaranteed so you need to think about what if this thing go against me okay so that's that about that so social media hype what can save you in social media hype is your knowledge okay i've used wow so i'm going to make it snappy now so what what will save you is your knowledge what will save you is your knowledge guys because there are a lot of noises in the market that can affect you so you need to know how to filter noise someone is saying this one will do 100 x another person is saying so i will do 10 x and you that want to make money too you want to react to it is normal so just know how to manage your emotions and filter noises not using stop loss this is the hell of it i have this mentality of not using stop loss i want to hold okay and men assume me let's assume i know you have been hearing of the lunar crash lately i know you have heard of that i'm sure you have heard of that if you have not heard of that lunar crashed from above hundred dollars to zero okay so let's assume someone bought at hundred dollars and now use a stop loss at ninety dollars don't you think that person will be grateful by now the person will be grateful the person will be like wow thank god i lost my, my small money just for me to save my remaining money because we have this mentality that okay i hope this money will get back if you know that it's not the money that you can afford to lose please use stop loss but if you know that okay you can afford to lose this money they don't use stop loss that is cool but if you know that okay you are using some portion some huge portion of your money of your portfolio and you cannot afford to lose everything please use stop loss it's better you lose 10 percent than losing 50 percent or losing 100 percent you need to get all of these things rightly it's better you lose 10 percent than losing 100 percent okay so use stop loss for your trades all of these things i don't want to do it too much on it because of our time i i actually, I actually spoke a lot about them in our cryptocurrency course so if you are wishing if, if you are willing to uh know about all of that i think that's the best option but of course it's choice it's a choice and uh, i'll just hope you are getting my points because that is what that is why i'm putting out this video get my points and adjust on them okay so want to make money quickly 
this is another issue guys okay i i i, I do tell i do tell people i do tell people once you come with a mindset of i want to make quick money you will eventually lose everything i have seen that happen over and over and over and over again to people it has happened to me so i know like i was saying those are those are, these are my experiences okay so if, 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 if even if you are willing to make quick money you must go ahead with risk management you must go ahead with risk management so if i want to make what what i dollars now today maybe with what i dollars maybe i want to make 100 percent okay i want to make that I, I it's good to plan but then i need to make use of risk management alongside so some people just come to the market and just want to make quick money without making use of quick of risk management think about what if the trade going against me can i afford to lose the money okay trading trading is very good it's very profitable if you have the knowledge if you want you are making use of this risk management that is why i said it's good to learn since the early okay self-learning there are a lot of things it will not teach you though experience is the best teacher like they say but you must have learned something that will give you that experience <laughs> okay you must have learned something that will give you that experience so we can't you, you can't you can't have you can let, let's assume now you don't know technical analysis and then you go ahead and buy okay okay so you'll not be like next time i won't buy but the thing is that they didn't know how to do technical analysis okay so before experience can be your best teacher you must have learned that thing that's why I said all of these things. There are things you, you, you will learn. You can't do self-learning on, 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 on all of these things. It's dangerous. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's possible, of course. Nothing is not nothing is impossible, but it's dangerous. Okay? So it will take you time and you even lose your money on the wrong side. So guys, just make sure that you are not doing self-learning. And even even though you are doing, practice with money you are willing to lose. Okay, and not come with the mindset of making money quickly. Even though you come with the mindset of with that mindset, make sure you both come alongside with risk management. People come with a mind of making money quickly, and they don't take their risk management alongside. So don't do like that. All right. The fifth point is I buy dips anyhow. Man, if market drop like this, I will buy dip. Drop again, I will buy dip. But drop again, I will buy dip. Forgetting there are stages to dip buying. You don't just buy dip anyhow with all your money. I have a rule in my course, in our course. Okay, I, I created it in Dewewo, so I am the tutor. So it's my course powered by Dewewo. Um, I have my team. I am the founder, and I have my team anyways. So I have a rule in that particular course that says that don't buy a dip if you don't have any spare money. What do I mean? Even though you want to buy a dip, there must be something stay in your pocket. I'm going to give you my strategy now. Let's assume you have one thousand dollars, okay? You have one thousand dollars, and you want to buy a dip of six hundred dollars. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh I, I want to buy a dip. Don't buy a dip with all the money. Buy a dip with maybe three hundred dollars, or at most, at most six hundred dollars, and still have something in your what in your hand. That is similar to DCA. This year is dollar cost average, which is similar to that. But I must say that it's not all deep that you must buy. That's what I actually mean by this. Don't buy dips anyhow. It's not all dips that you must buy. Because market go down a little bit, then you're already buying deep. Your money go finish you. <laughs> so don't buy dips anyhow. There are stages that you should buy dips. Okay? When the market came down now, this last month, and it came down to $24 or $26, I've not even bought anything. I've not bought any dip. Because I have a target. Okay, so don't just buy dips anyhow, guys. Even though it's good to DCA to do dollar cost averaging. If you don't know what dollar cost averaging means, it means that you are buying with let's assume you have one thousand dollars, you are buying with thirty dollars, two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. So you are not buying everything at once. That is DCA. Okay, so even though you are doing DCA, there are levels that you should buy and you should not buy because the market might still fall for that. Okay, so the sixth point is. I don't take profit, man. I've lost money, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money doing this number six. And man, I know that I'm still going to make that money back, anyways. Do I? It's not that I've lost my capital. I'm, still, I'm talking about the profit that I've lost now. Okay. You lose money not taking profit, guys. 
you need to take profit. And of course, it might be like, what if I take the profit and, and then market is still going up? You don't take everything out. If you, maybe you have made a profit of 100%, take out your capital first. Then you wait. Maybe you made another 200%. Then you take 100% out. You're taking it as the market is moving. As the market is moving. Because you don't know what will happen. If you can't afford to lose it, because all of these things, of course, if, if let's assume that that you, have, you that, that you buy a particular coin with ten dollars, then it moves twenty dollars. Of course, you can still afford to lose the twenty dollars, but if you know you can afford to lose it, you make your ten dollars your, your capital. So what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that, always take profit on the money that you are not willing to lose. Okay, I have lost a lot of money not taking profit, so I know what it takes. I know what it means not to take profit. All right, guys. I think I'm done with what I was doing wrongly. So I hope you have learned one or two things in that. Now let's move to what I did rightly. Okay, I'm just going to use about 10 minutes in this thing so that it won't take too much time. Okay, so I won't take too much of the time anyways. I'm sure you have learned a lot of things in this particular short video. Okay, so I spoke about don't do self-learning, consume a lot, lot of information, don't know what works best for me, market to a coin, social hype, not, not using stop loss, want to make money quickly i buy dips anyhow i don't take profit okay so those are my mistakes and i don't want you to do the same thing so guys please adjust and of course yeah there are a lot of money you can make a cryptocurrency like i said and it's not even about trading alone i'm sure you might have watched my past videos where i spoke about how to make 500 to 1000 dollars monthly doing cryptocurrency jobs okay so how to do some other things in the cryptocurrency industry so it's not just about you trading alone okay i have some i have some of my students most of them they're not even trading presently all, all what they do is do their crypto jobs and doing their other business which is otc trading okay so it's not all about trading but of course most people do trading a lot so that is why i'm putting out this video okay but like i said cryptocurrency industry is not just all about trading alone okay not all about trading alone so you need to explore the other part of the industry and just put pick about two niche for yourself like myself i am in the teaching industry i am in the crypto jobs industry i am in the trading industry and i also function in the nft and DeFi industry but i function mostly in the three parts okay so even though i'm not trading for a month even though i'm not teaching for a month okay even though i'm not even doing anything all i do is just on my twitter I make money by collecting salary, okay? <laughs> by collecting salary, okay? Um, I know it's funny. <laughs> you even make more than people that are working in a bank just by tweeting. All right, that is why it's good to be in the cryptocurrency industry, okay? Of course, all of these things, it's, it's, not, it's something that you need to learn. I always say something that most people, most people just want to make money in the cryptocurrency industry. You need to learn first, guys. You need to learn. Learn might take you just sit down for six months straight and be learning though it may not be up to that but you know we all have different assimilation and, and, and our time okay we have some people that okay they don't have the time to maybe watch the lessons but give yourself six months to learn you i, I always say something if it if, if, if it will take me one year to learn something good for my life why won't i learn it I still have a lot of years to live, not even 50 years, not even 60 years, not even 70, 70 years. <laughs> I pray to live long, of course. So I still have a lot of years to live in which I'm going to be using that knowledge for years, just one year of learning, then I'm set for life. All of this that I'm teaching you, I've learned it in the, in the years past. If I did not learn it, I would not be teaching you. So guys, learn, put your, put your learning first. Don't chase the money first. Money will come after. But, but, of course, but of course, I will say something. In my course, there is a room for learning and any. That is the sweetest part. The sweetest part because I'm going to be giving some signals where you can make money even while, while learning. Okay? So you can be making money while learning. Making some little money while learning. Okay? So when you are done, then you can now stand out yourself. Okay? That is the beauty of our own course. You make money while learning using some signals and then... Let's just leave that side and then move to... Um, move to um okay now move to how i was able to make my one million naira back okay so how did i do that i learned premium that is just the fucking truth we solved all other errors okay i learned 
which solved all of these problems. Because if I don't learn, I won't know. Okay? So I learned them, we solved those problems. Like I said, some people might be like, why should I pay to learn? It's not compulsory. It's about you, it's not about me. I'm not losing my I'm not losing your money. You're not losing your money. Okay? And it's your time. Because time is precious. What if I have learned all those all, all those stuff that, that I wasted to? Of course I I'm, I should have been bigger bigger and better than this. Okay? So you are wasting time, you are wasting money. The two important things in your life. <laughs> okay? Time is important, money is important. So why should you waste it? So try as much as possible to pay premium and make sure you know what you are buying a bag. Don't say that. Can you say that? Okay, that's my nickname. Can you see my nickname? Don't say I said that. Go and, I should go and buy something then. Then you just go ahead and buy any outing. Because it's, because this guy is selling his course or selling his, his stuff 5,000 Naira or 10,000 Naira. Then you go ahead and buy. Then you now be like, oh, I've bought a lot of courses and then what I'm, what I'm being taught is basic. What are you expecting, guys? Okay? Like I said, like I said, someone like, like I said, someone said, someone said uh, our course is expensive at that particular price. I said, wow, okay, it's expensive, but do you know how much this course is going to make for you? Do you think it's your 5,000 trading course that you thought this is this? I've put out skills, I've put out energy, I have put out time, I have put out experience in that course. That is why I think called ultimate full ultimate course okay so catch what as possible to to go premium guys it's just it's just as if you are using audio mark the free version you come a lot with you, you come across with a lot of ads of course some of us most of you still use the free version which is good because of your finance okay it's good but people that are using the premium version enjoy more features or just like Netflix, just like DSTV, okay, just like DSTV. If you pay five pounds on DSTV now, okay, you won't be able to watch all the channel. So it's just like that. So if you want to enjoy stuffs, you pay premium, guys. It's just the basic truth about life. It's hard, but it's the truth, and it's just one time, okay. So don't. I won't advise you to just be going for people that collect monthly payment from you, unless you have the money, anyways. Okay, so. Our course is one time payment and then you are set for life. So, the second point is what risk management. I'm now I make use of risk management. If I'm not willing to lose that money, I won't do it. I'm not saying that my risk management must be, must be, must be reasonable. Let's assume I have a portfolio of $1,000, okay, and I want to enter the market with that $1,000. Of course, I won't like to lose as little as even 5%, which is $50. Then I go out to the market, excuse me, then I go out to the market to use my risk management. I will make sure my entering is right. That is the main thing. If you are using, if you are considering risk management, your entering must be right. Because if your entering is not right, then your risk management will be what? Boom. Will be off. So first thing first, you must get your risk management rightly. Okay? You must get your risk management rightly. Sorry, you must get your entry point rightly. Because if entry point is not right, then your risk management will be all, all off. All off. So, entry point first, then follow you by risk management. Because if I said that I want to lose 5%, then it means that I must get my entry point right. So that even if I'm losing 5%, I will know that, okay, I've risked a reasonable amount. And of course, I'm going to be making that at, 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 at maybe 20%. 30%, 50%, which is very good. I lose 5%. I'm willing to lose 5% to make 20%. Okay? So, risk management is very, very important. But you see some people, you have a portfolio of $1,000. Then you are going to futures to go and trade 50x with all your money. The risk management is very is very crazy. Don't go ahead to go and consume because your guy is doing the same thing. You don't know, you don't know his portfolio. Even though you know, you don't know the, his level of of finance is level of emotions okay so don't compare yourself with some other persons okay so the third point is i avoided social noise i avoided social noise okay because a lot of noise so i just go ahead and use what i know i, I did not say i avoided them 
I not I, I should not say I avoid them anyways because um don't mind me I have to straight my head so because when it comes to social noise we will, we will always have some important things too to cash up that's just the truth you know if a madman is saying something you will always have some little stuff that you can take out from that something that he or she is saying so if people are saying that okay Bitcoin will crash just make sure that you try to filter it do your own analysis do your own research okay so know what work best for me this is the end of it guys this and this i will just everything is important but i know what works best for me i know my level of emotions so like i said earlier if i'm not willing to lose 10 percent then i will reduce, I will reduce my risk to five percent you must know what works best for you i have a portfolio of one thousand dollars i don't want to lose even 10 10 percent which is hundred dollars it's, it's it's kinder eye so I will, I will reduce my risk to like five percent which means that my entry must be right so i know what works best for me and i know my level of emotions okay so you must know what works best for you. You may see these things as just some cheap things, but guys, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It made me back my one millionaire by what? By just single. Though that time, um, I I made more than this. That was last year, anyways. This all of this like, last year. This one was before. Um, this one was before I got into cryptocurrency. I lost some, and uh, some after I joined. Like I said. Like I said, yeah, I lost some year and I lost some year even after learning. Okay, so and the reason why I lost some after learning was because of what I what I went in for. The class was some basic stuff, and the guys not even have my time. That's why I said, make sure you, you know what you are buying. Okay, so I I I I made I made that money back by doing all of these things. Okay, I made it of of risk management. I did not just go anywhere into the market. Okay, so when I bought this particular coin, you see, it was a shitty coin, anyways. So uh, I bought it to very small money and I made a lot. So I used the money I was willing to lose, which what is risk management. Risk management. I used what I was really willing to lose, and boom, the coin succeeded. Okay, so guys, this will be all for me for now. Okay, so right now in the market, the next thing is how can I trade the beer market? So in the next video you are going to be watching, I'm going to be teaching you how to trade the cryptocurrency bear market. How to trade the cryptocurrency bear market. So I hope you are getting this video. Do me a favor. Once you are done with this video, come to my DM and tell me how the video, how the video has helped you, how the video, how how how, how nice you 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 find this video. Please come to my DM and give me that feedback. I will really appreciate that. Okay, because it's helped me to do more. Your, your your feedback will what will give me the encouragement to even do more to even give you a lot of free values more okay so don't forget come to my dm and give me a feedback all right so make sure you don't forget them all of these points don't forget them and um i hope you have a sweet trading a sweet investment and of course stay safe stay good salute thanks for watching <laughs> don't forget to come to my dm to give me feedback yeah and um of course of course if you are looking for um where you don't want to lose your money you don't want to lose your money to someone that does not even know what he or she is doing you don't want to lose your money to just some um courses you don't want to go over and over again then your best choice is the full cryptocurrency automated course and of course i'll be expecting you because there's a lot to do and a lot to make a lot of money to make yeah that is a complete statement so guys stay safe and stay good see you later thumbs up